we did it and you say hi okay so we did that and this and then and then this yes and then you go over here O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. This Mass is particularly offered for the eternal repose of Perpetua Tangitan Etu. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins, and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. The Holy Spirit has also testified to us, for after saying, This covenant I will establish with them, after those days, says the Lord, I'll put my laws in their hearts and I'll write them upon their minds. He also says, Their sins and their evil doing I will remember no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to the, the Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the, in the day of your birth in the holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land. And he taught them at length in parables. And in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, while it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and hundredfold. He added, Whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. And when he was alone, 
those present along with the twelve questioned him about the parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to those outside everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see, but not perceive, and hear and listen, but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand the parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground, who, when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy, but they have no roots. They last only for a time. Then when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it, and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. In our first reading today, from the letter to the Hebrews, the author writes away, right away gives us a stark comparison of the two sacrifices. The Old Testament sacrifices of the Levitical priests, that is the, sacri the animal sacrifices that do not take away sins, and the New Testament, the one everlasting, effective sacrifice, the sacrifice of Christ that takes away sins. That is the comparison. The first sacrifice of the Old Testament does not take away sins. The second one takes away sins. As we all knew, the ritual sacrifices of the Levitical priesthood cannot attain perfection or even wash away sins because they were only external functions or only for rituals. They only serve as foreshadows or anticipation of the one true sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. In other words, the animal sacrifices of the Old Testament do not purify our conscience. Probably we ask ourselves, how were the sacrifices of the Old Covenant, the animal sacrifices of the Levitical priests, cannot purify the Israelite people? Because animals have no free will. On the contrary, the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross includes his own full free will. And that is the crucial part of the comparison, the, the free will of Jesus. Free will or freedom, my br brothers and sisters, is embedded in our own human dignity. That is why we are free and have the capacity to love. We have this gift of freedom to either love or hate God, love or hate our neighbor. But in its true essence, it is through our free will that we respond to God's constant invitation to love. And that is what makes love powerful. It is not forced or imposed from without, but it is a love that is coming from within ourselves. And when that love comes from within, impelled by our own free will, 
then it produces lasting impact, transformative and purifying to people. I'm sure we could all testify about this in our own experiences of love. When we love freely, sincerely, genuinely, people will remember it in their lifetime. Jesus said in the Gospel of John, No one takes my life from me, but I lay it down of my own will. The sovereign freedom of God's Son is best shown in His own self-offering to the Father, and that is the event that we celebrate every day in our Mass. When, at the upper room, during the Last Supper, Jesus told His disciples, This is my body, this is my blood, for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus' free and total sacrifice allows him to love us in a deeper way than we ever thought. And because of his total surrender to the will of God, his love has become ever powerful, that it is capable of washing away our sins. His love is so perfect, so real and genuine, that he did not hold anything back to himself. He gave up everything out of his own free will, so much so that until now, that same sacrifice at Calvary, which we celebrate in our Mass, though in a different mode, still has lasting impact to us until that very day, until this very day. That whenever we go to Mass, we receive the forgiveness of God through His Son, and we are given the grace to imitate Christ by loving freely God and our neighbor without holding anything back to ourselves and without any reservation. Amen. Please stand. We offer our petitions to our gracious and forgiving Lord. That God may accept the offering of ourselves united to Christ through the Church's holy sacrifice of the Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the law of our land may be inspired by the law of the Lord that has been written upon our minds and put in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the that the hearts of those heavy with guilt or shame may be touched by the extravagant mercy and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the word of God sown in our hearts of, the, of this faith communities catch, catches them candidates and religious education students may find rich soil and bear abundant fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those who have died may soon rejoice with Christ and all the angels and saints in the eternal kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray. Merciful God, we come to you in our need and surrender ourselves to your grace. Hear the prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too ex extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a good day to everyone.